This is probably something of a breakthrough, though it shouldn't be, I guess. Commuters in Moscow had something of a surprise as they returned to work after the New Year break. For the first time in decades, female drivers have been allowed on the city's metro. A recent change in the law lets women take up dozens of professions, apparently up to now judged too dangerous. The BBC's Tim Orman explains. Beneath the streets of Moscow, a social revolution is taking place. The most shocking of sights for some, a woman at the controls of an underground train. A dozen female employees who already worked on the city's rail network, now fully qualified drivers. We believe that in this day and age, everyone should have a choice and work wherever he or she wants, no matter their sex. And we're happy that Moscow Metro has allowed an opportunity to the women who worked here to get a new profession. A new profession, but an old one too. Women were actually allowed to drive underground trains in Moscow all the way back to the 1930s. But then the Soviet Union banned them from this and hundreds of other professions that were said to be harmful or dangerous. Now that ban's been overturned, and it won't just be female train drivers. Women can now drive tractors, lorries and serve on board ships. But there are still dozens of professions that are prohibited. So far, only internal candidates have been allowed to apply, but Moscow Metro promised soon the jobs will be open to anyone. These women aren't just drivers, they're also pioneers. Tim Allman, BBC News.